Hey everyone, it's Sispawn, and welcome back to episode 25 of my Roman Spectrum 2.5 Pontus Campaign. Now, last episode, we ended off with a few battles against Pergamum and Armenia, and just building a little bit in our empire, and we were ready to attack Nicomedia here as soon as we end the turn. I really don't think there was much left to do. This is actually the same session. I tweaked a little bit the uh, audio because it seemed a little loud when I took a look at it so hopefully this will fix it and not just be way too quiet now but let's go ahead and end the turn oh, I forgot to move that fleet oh well I will do that first thing this turn until I forget Okay, nope, it kept him right sail. here, so it's gonna go ahead and move him yes, right sir. here into Leaving Amasia. Yes, mm. And this army down here in Amasia should be ready to go. Let's take Prepare care of these rebels. And this army's definitely ready for some retraining now that we've cleared out these rebels. So we'll head him back this way and take care of him here in a turn or so. And really quickly, let's go ahead and take a look at these notifications. We made some money. Good for us. We lost our... Good lord, Armenia. Can you just chill the F out for, like, a turn? Well, what we're going to do, they... Crap, I need to reestablish these forts so they stop just rushing in. That's totally killing the whole point of an early warning system. Okay, what we're going to do... This army here is going to retrain what it can and head over there. It's basically just the same plan as last time, except we're going to reestablish the forts before we leave. This, this uh, army has got to go over here and help us take out uh, Pergamon. I'm, I'm not going to budge on that. We need them just out of our way so we only have like the two easy borders to contend with here. That's not going to happen until we finish them off. So let's get this army back together here. Orders. And I think this guy was our general. He's got the silver experience chevron, so I'm going to say he was. March. My lord? Yes, Stratigos. My lord? Mm. Um, you guys Sir. just head up yes, here this Stratigos. way. March. My lord? My lord? Five units of Thrakatai. Sir. Sir! My lord? I don't need another archer unit, aren't I? Unless I have it right here, I do. My lord. Orders. Sir. Sir. Ooh, is it too big? We'll just lose a unit of Thrakatai. Oh, I didn't mean to take you out. Go back in the city if you can. You can't, so just chill right here. Whatever. Forward! Most defeated, sir! My lord! My and lord. you guys will head over this way. Forward! Out of move, sir! And we'll help My you lord. finish off Pergamon. Forward. And hopefully we can raise whatever troops we need to for uh, Satal's relief here. They haven't technically besieged yet, which means it's going to be another turn before they can make siege weapons. So that's good. Um. Anything else here? Crap. This guy got a corrupt judge. I officially hate, 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 hate this retinue. I think it's new to this version of Roman Spectrum 2. And it just spreads everywhere. And I'm not sure what I need to do to get rid of it. I don't know if I just need higher level law buildings or what but this this guy just spreads to every single city ever and it gives plus two to unrest and negative two to law so basically just makes everyone pissed at you 
It sucks. <laughs> Alright, tons of guys retraining and a few more guys that are major trained obviously and then we got our second unit of these elite breaking rum rum fire for Roy. Because that's not a mouthful. Oh my they already have another army down here. Armenia. Chill man. Seriously. Yes, Stratagos! Well, I might not. Well, then once again, they're also not officially besieging me, so I should have time Sir. to retain, Sir. re, uh, retrain my Order. troops here. Sir. Orders. Orders. So we will go ahead and do that and take advantage of the time we are given. And we do have plenty of money left here. Orders. So we will want to spend that wisely. We're going to go ahead and do that before we worry about this battle. Pergamon, you built that. So we're going to go ahead and build you <clears throat> this next one. Sorry, guys. Got a lot of congestion. Um, we're going to go ahead and build this military training facility. That way we can get troops pumping out without having to go back and forth from Amasia and Mazika and whatnot as quickly as possible. Because that's not going to be practical if we're going to hold this side as a uh, permanent border, which we definitely plan to. Let's see, Halicarnassus. We need to get you happy, darn it. Why are you mad, bro? Alright, sorry. I I will never do that again. Maybe. Let's go ahead and build some temples down here, get these guys happy. Same with Assos. Oh uh, what do you want? Let's give you a Shrine of Hera as well. Why not? It's a party, everyone's doing it. Give the peer pressure. And this just temple hairs all around. Oops, that's uh, not what I meant to click there. Maybe. I guess we have all the level 1 ones that we can uh, build there already. Antioch. Well, uh, I was going to say we won't neglect you, but we might. <laughs> yeah, we can uh, change you to medium taxes and you're making a little more. Losing a little less, I guess, but still. We'll build you that. And that's our cash, but that's okay. Man, I really don't have any buffer up in a major right now, so we're going to send at least that up there. Yeah. And you'll move in here and retrain next turn. You, I don't even think I can rejoin you with the fleet because of the stupid uh bug in this mod, but oh well. I think we are good to go ahead and attack Nicomedia. Dude, its walls are already damaged for me a little bit. That's nice. I don't know if it'll make a difference, but... Ooh, and it's... Pretty lightly guarded besides these high pass batai here. It will be a fun unit to fight, but hey, you can't have it be too easy. You gotta have a little bit of fun. Let's do it. Oh, first I'm going to make a save just in case we get a crash or something equally stupid, which I do not foresee. But it doesn't hurt to be careful. Alright, guys, my army's all set up. But as this is a siege battle, and this is going to take a little bit just to get everything set up, it's not zone walls or anything, but um, I'll get back to you once everything's to a little more exciting. I'm going to go ahead and start the battle, but I don't think you need to watch me battle on the walls or get my troops at the breaches. Um, I'll get back to you when the action starts. 
Alright guys, this seems like a good enough spot to begin. I've taken out about a third of their army, a little over from my archers alone. And now we're just going to go ahead and rush the walls here. So we're just going to rush these cavalry before they can throw their, as many of their javelins as we can because these guys have crap armor and great attack, so why not? I'd rather come in and fight them hand to hand and just sit there and die to javelins, really. Yeah, I bet he still would they. And apparently they didn't want to throw their javelins, so they're just going to rush in as well, that's fine. Same thing here. These throw four, or I won't stand a chance in hell against my breaking Bazoi. But it will be fun to watch them try. Anyways, let's go ahead and secure this lane right here. They've got some heavy pelts there. Do they have their Hypus Pists guarding this gate for no reason? They do. Not sure what's up with that, but hey, you know what? If that gives us a chance to uh, take those hypospits out outside of the city square, I will be more than happy to take advantage of that. Alright. We're going to go ahead and rush over here and take these guys down. This is for the same reason that we did to their friends. We don't like you javelins. And let the slaughter continue. Looks like we broke those Thurophore predictably. These guys aren't going to bother um, chasing them down, we're just going to head this way with them. They are going the long, long way around, which is fine. I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to get these guys right here and try to cut off those Thurophoroi's retreat and just chase them down before they get to their town square. In the meantime... You guys will head this way. Yeah, that cavalry failed pretty miserably. Where are you going to attack from? Oh, I missed a tower. So they've just been sitting here taking arrow fire for no reason. Awesome. I thought I killed all of them. Did I even damage him? Nope. Straight up missed that one. No, they're throw a four I recovered from rounding, so we're just gonna line up right here and take care of them. Yeah, our guys are mostly fresh. One of them is warmed up from slaughtering those units. That's fine. Maybe we'll throw our javelins this time. Maybe. Oh, one of them is going to. Now you can charge in. He's already broken again. Oh, silly Pergamon in your third floor, right? When will you learn? Well, you won't have much time to learn. Or at least not much time to retain whatever you learn, I'll put it that way. It looks like they are bringing their, um... Hypus Pists into the city center. So we will be fighting them there, but it's not the end of the world. So javelins and heavy cavalry charges in the back tend to uh, work regardless of your elite status or armor. No need to tire yourself out, guys. They will die one way or the other. Okay. Okay. 
We're gonna get all our cavalry over this way for flanking purposes. And I will definitely start triple speeding here soon so we don't have to sit through all of this at normal speed. <clears throat> this should be much quicker than our Siege Battle of Pergamon though. Much smaller armor we're facing. Much more direct path to city square too, that's for sure. So that's probably just a matter of where we breach the walls at, really. They sent <laughs> sent and immediately lost a unit. Typical. Guys will throw your javelins though. Because hey, you might as well, right? And these heavy peltists are here, we would like to throw a Thoroi to take care of them though. There's our Thrakatai, that is to say. <clears throat> Hey, no, no, you don't need to go right through him. Cut around. Come on. Be smart. There's a road here. Seriously? You can't follow the road? There we go. You guys take care of them. You guys take care of them. Cavalry, you just go ahead and get up here. These guys should be dead pretty quickly. These Pizzoli have armor piercing attacks, so their high armor value, yeah, is doing them no good at all, even in the city square. Surrounded and just getting cut to ribbons. Already down to 26. Cool looking though. Cavalry is getting in, so let's line them up hither. <laughs> nine of them left already, good lord. And we'll just get a nice, fun, heavy cavalry charge in the back of these heavy peltists in just a moment. Let's see, can we line up that way? Like that. Yeah. Let them get lined up. We have plenty of time. Almost there. Hurry up, guys. Get in position. All right. I think we are ready. Let's charge. And there goes that unit. Oh, back to battle. The enemy army is in flight. Alrighty, 622 deals, 97 losses, not that at all for taking like us. Sorry if the sound's kind of on and off right now, I've noticed some weird stuff, so hopefully you can hear my voice this whole episode. 
I'm actually compressing the other episode while recording this one, which I've done plenty of times before, but it seems to be being a little wacky. So, we'll see what happens. Just bear with me. Alright, and of course, I think we're going to depopulate this. One, make it easier to control, and two, I like money. Let's destroy that. Oh, we can destroy that tax building, and we can destroy that as well. So that's fair, of course, to get money from that's handy. Good, repair the walls here. And destroy this tax building. Maybe. Yeah, well, we can always rebuild it later, I guess. Let's see how things hold out. I can destroy it when I leave, too. That's no big deal. Oh, that's cool. We'll recruit two hoplites of Bithynia and a unit of Basilioi. Or Basilioi. I, I think it's Basilioi. As garrison. And build that and then that. Awesome. Dionysus has reached the rank of the park uh, or of Epistrategos. Maybe that's his name, Dionysus and Parkos. Or me nope, maybe that's also the rank, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Hipparchus is the trait, and that's why he's in charge of ten Hipparches. The Cavalry General. He gets plus three to command, plus two to cavalry command, plus two to troop morale, plus two to influence. He officially became a BAM. Good for him. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, Pergamum is now down to two cities. They have Gordium and Ephesus. We sh took pretty minimal losses there, so we should be able to take one of these cities with this army. Maybe Ephesus, since they're a little weakened, and then with our other army, we will take down Gordium. And that should be the end of Pergamum, assuming we don't run into any hiccups along the way i.e. emergency armies, which we have been blessedly clear of so far. <sighs> Alright. Got a little more cash. Tarsus, you're gonna get that. You'll be able to train a few more things. And... You can't quite go back in there until next March. turn, that's right. I think we're more or less ready to end the turn. See what happens. Cross our fingers for nothing. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get besieged from two different places for Armenia. So we'll see what happens. Oh, we got blockaded by the Seleucids. Yep. Double besieged by the Armenians. We are surrounded. With extra armies in the area. Awesome. Spy trying to uh, snoop around in Nicomedia. And we will... Yeah, we'll take him. He's 38, but we need more people for our new settlements here. Still making decent money. We don't even have a governor in Pergamon. As soon as we get a good person there, that's going to be raking in the cash for us. Um, Mazika grew, Heraclea grew, and we built a bunch of dinky little shrines. So, let's see how this goes for us. Yep, it's still making some more money, so how much is it though? too expensive I'm gonna wait on it yeah 5700 it's not terrible still we're going to wait just because we have to retrain that army and get some more troops for it here the community has got its garrison 
We retrain some troops. And nothing really relevant to us here. Sir! Move out! Yes! Strapy boss! Sir! Orders! Sir! Sir! No, you guys at least will have to go to Omasia. Leaving the army! For you to be retrained. Sir. And let's go ahead and give you. Oh. We can afford two units of Maca Fordoy Epilectoy. What's your cavalry situation like? We'll give you one more unit of the Cappadocians as well. Yes, Dragon! Sir! Sir! Leaving the army! Yes, Dragon! My lord! You head up here, and you guys retrain the ones we need to the most, I guess. Right. Now we can build a Mesia. See how these compare. That's given us about 400 more. That's given us a couple hundred more. And this one's also given us a little more than 300 more. So. We will go ahead and build, or how about, what's this one going to do? Also around 300. So it looks like Temple of Hermes will take it here. Don't think it'll make a huge difference regardless from the looks of things. My lord! And you can head quite a bit further here. Perfect. Forward. Ambush in place! Orders? Yes, Stratigos. Move out. Yes, Stratigos. Now, now, and I can get calm down. Okay, just calm down. Like a pretty good variety of troops. Ooh, these guys are handy if I need some good heavy hitting infantry later. That's good. You guys are expensive for one more defense. Go ahead and make two more of them. Three more. They're cheap. Yes, Dragon. And these are probably going to be some pretty brutal sieges. So you go ahead and get ready right here. Yes, Dragon. You guys will head down to here next turn. Onward. <sighs> Head down to Antioch. Yes, Stratagon. Yes, Stratagon. Yes, Stratigos. Leaving the army. Move out. Sir, onward. Orders, sir. Yes, Stratagon. Orders. Splitting the troops. March. Sir. Sir. Orders. You guys. My lord. Go ahead as well. Yes, Stratigos. Sir. Orders. My lord. Yes, Stratigos. Sir. Oh, oops. Did not Orders. need to send you that way. Yes, Stratigos. Sir. I got these guys. My lord. Orders. Yes, Stratigos! Sir! Oh shoot. I need to send, <laughs> my need to send my yes, archers. Stratigos! Splitting the troops! Mars! Orders! My lord! Orders! Let's go here. Now you guys go here. You guys join up. Yes, Stratigos! And now the army's complete, my and lord. we will.
Go crush these guys. Yay, and once again they're forced to retreat the first time. And these are, wow, this is even weaker than the last one they sent. This should be a piece of cake, guys. Alright guys, same setup as last time, let's do it again. They're just on the same little hill here, but with a smaller army. Whew, these guys do not learn. I might cut this video off after this battle. We'll see how long it goes, but I'm getting tired. It was kind of late when I started recording the first episode, and this one's going even longer. Well, it's even later. I shouldn't say it's going even longer. That's not true. That's not good. They're going to start annihilating my... Uh, my poor slingers here, let's keep moving. Oh, they're targeting my cavalry, those bastards. Let's give them something to think about. It's not even going to get near to catching them, I'm pretty darn sure, but hey. I'll keep my cavalry from getting shot to, shot to hell. Are they even the ones shooting them? It might even be these guys. Or maybe they just switch targets. Yeah, they can't decide who they want to attack. Ooh, we might catch them. I think we will. Let's kill some squishy archers. Wow, I took a lot more casualties there than I thought I would, but oh well. Nothing very worrying, really, to be honest. They pull back there. I don't know, let's kill these Nakarars here. They're nice and isolated. Just a few of them. Yeah. Not enough for you to be a serious director, guys. Trying to be cute here, but they're just gonna get slung to death. Sling it. Sling it, guys. And these darn horse archers, man. We're gonna have to start targeting them with our archers. And just continue the advance with everyone else. Slingers, we'll probably start sending you around the flank as well. Not really need to screen much more at this point. Let's do the same thing and have you take out their horse archers. Where are you guys going? <laughs> are they? No, they're just drawing. They're not routing. Alright, seriously? Come on! My pike line got out of formation. Send your pikes, please. That's alright, I can easily, uh... 
outmaneuver these guys with numbers. Alright, let's go ahead and try to engage these guys here, lock them up. Crap, I forgot to take these guys off the fire at will again. Caught them before they used all their javelins this time at least. Where are you at? Skirmish with these guys, it looks like. It's fine. Let's draw them away from the battle. The only pikes are still doing okay for being out of formation here. They snuck their, uh, their cavalry archers around the back of my infantry. Cheeky. Oh, they're dead. And this army is so easily retrainable that little losses like that really don't even bother me. What we're gonna do is the we're gonna pull these guys back. Away. This is no get these way slingers for right here to take out these Katronic and Spearmen. They belief. will uh, rapidly thin their ranks. I don't think my heavy cavalry is going to be needed for hammer and anvil here very much. So let's turn fire at will off and chase these routers down. Slingers are in position, let's screw these guys up. And they're routing. Oh, they're fighting to the death, so they're just going to stand there and take these until they die. That's handy. They're booking it. They've had enough. Well, guys, I haven't got. Oh, these guys haven't officially retreated yet so I'm not gonna get my uh, victory screen until they're dead but we'll just sling the crap out of them and that takes care of that this victory surely they work not that of more well, took a few like more us. losses especially my pike line but hey victory's a victory and as we all know it's just a Factory unit over in Antioch is just gonna pump them right back out. Or unit factory, yeah. That might make more sense than the that other thing. Like I said, getting too late.
Indeed it is. Order. Move out! Onward! Out of move, sir! March! Alright, okay, so that's my successor sir. leading these. I should probably have him go settle down somewhere and make me some money. I wonder if I can get him over to Pergamon. Or even Antioch. Who do I have in charge there? We'll see how good he is in comparison. Okay. I should make a fleet down here. Seeing as I have a crap ton of coastline now, and only one tiny little navy way up here in Amasia. Right, I was going to uh, disband you since I couldn't Ready to sail. couldn't uh, sail. combine ready. you guys. Ready to sail. Yes, sir. Ready to sail. Ships there ready. we go. Ships ready. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Well, I know this one was a bit shorter probably than Alrighty. what my usual ones are. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm tired. I'm going to need some sleep. I'll try to record some more here in a couple days. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.